Hi, I'm Philip Hickman, Artistic Director of Actors Theatre of Columbus. As you all know, unfortunately this summer we are not able to perform for you in Schiller Park, but we thought that you might like to see the stage uh, live at least right now. Tonight, we've decided to bring you something a little bit special. We partnered with several of the actors and artists of our acquaintance to bring you a collection of short films that we are calling Shakespeare Shorts Volume 1. Uh, tonight's collection includes takes on Taming of the Shrew, Hamlet, and the Comedy of Errors. Of course, Actors Theatre and the Shakespeare Underground are brought to you by the Ohio Arts Council the Columbus Foundation, the Reinberger Foundation, and the Greater Columbus Arts Council. We're also sponsored by Viewtech Ruff HER Realty and Regina Acosta Tobin with Metro Village Realty. Thanks and enjoy the show. Though yet of Hamlet our dear brother's death, the memory be green, and that it us be fitted bear our hearts in grief, and our whole kingdom to be contracted in one brow of woe. Yet, so far hath discretion fought with nature, that we, with wisest sorrow, think on him, together with remembrance of ourselves. Therefore, our, our sometime sister, now our queen, the imperial jointress to this warlike state, have we as twere with defeated joy, taken to wife. But break my heart, for I must hold my tongue. Hail to your lordship. Ah, uh, I'm glad to see you well, Horatio. Or do I forget myself? Oh, but, but what is your affair in Elsinore? Ah, we'll, we'll teach you to drink deep ere you depart. Lord, I you see your father's funeral. Your father? He thinks I see my father. Where, my lord? In my mind's eye, Horatio. My lord. I think I saw him yesternight. My father the king? But where was this? What hour now? Look, my lord, it comes. Mark me. I will. I am. Revenge this foul and unnatural murder. The serpent that did sting thy father wears his crown. Oh, my prophetic soul! My uncle! Oh, this pernicious woman! Oh, villain! Villain! Smiling, damned villain! My liege and madam, since brevity is the soul of wit, and tediousness the limbs and outward flourishes, I will be brief. Your noble son is mad. You think tis this? It, it may be. Very likely. To be or not to be? That is the question. 
question. My man, tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them. Sleep, perchance, to dream. The fair Ophelia, nymph, be in thy horizons. All my sins be remembered. Good, my lord. How does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you. Well. Well. Well, my lord, I have remembrances of yours that I have longed, longed to re-deliver. I pray you now receive them. Ha! Ha! Are you honest? My lord? Are you fair? Indeed. My lord, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me! For virtue cannot so inoculate our old stock. We shall be relishing of it. I loved you not. I was the more deceived. He will come straight. I'll warrant you. Fear me not. Mother! Withdraw. Mother. I hear him coming. Mother! Now, mother, what's the matter? Hamlet, thou hast thy father much offended. Mother, you have my father much offended. Come, come. You answer with an idle tongue. Go, go. You question with too wicked a tongue. Help! Help! Oh! Oh, help! 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 A rat! Dead for a ducat! Dead! I me. What hast thou done? Not that I think you did not love your father, but that I know that love is begun by time. But to the quick of the ulcer, Hamlet comes back! What would you undertake to prove yourself your father's son indeed, more than in words? To cut his throat in the church. One woe does tread upon another's heels so fast they follow. Your sister is drowned, Laertes. Drowned? Oh. Where? There's a willow grows aslant the brook that shows his hoar leaves in the glassy stream. There, with fantastic garlands, did she come of crow flowers, nettles, daisies, and long purples, which our liberal shepherds give a grosser name, but our cold maids do dead men's fingers call. There, her pendant weeds clamoring to hang, an envious sliver broke, and down she fell into the weeping brook. Give me drink. Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Here's to thy help. Give him the cup. I'll play this bout first. Let it buy a while. Come. Our son shall win. He's fat. And scant of breath. Gertrude, do not drink. <laughs> I will, my lord, I pray you pardon me. Gertrude, do not drink.
potent poison. Quite. Oh, crows my spirit. The rest. The rest is silence. I told you to get gas in Athens. I don't... You, you just... What was that? By the time you said that, we already left. It was too late. Don't blame me. You knew. What are you waiting for? Go get some gas. Go! Run, hurry up. I've never met my brother before. I don't want to be late. Bad impression. Mm. Pick up a bottle of wine at the gas station and then bring a gift. Why didn't you know you had a brother? Because my dad didn't tell me. Anyway, it's, it's none of your business, all right? I pay you to do what I tell you to do. Just hurry up. There's no gas can. What? There's no gas can. Give it. Just, just buy one, okay? Here. Which way? How should I know? I've never been to Ephesus. Huh. Just go. Where have you been? At home. Where you should be. What? Your wife is waiting for you. Wait. What are you talking about? Have you been with Erodia? Who? Ah, very good. Never heard of her. I can keep a secret if you can. Are you joking with me? Have you lost your mind? I'm not married. I don't know. Erica, or whatever. Where's the gas? The...
think I like the thesis. Look, I'm sorry, I... So, I was at this food truck, and... I was just, I was just getting a hot dog, but... The girl there, she smiled at me, so I smiled back, and... I, I kind of felt like... Like she knew me, so like... So I just went with it, and she gave me this hot dog for free. Sorry I hate you. What? I... I shouldn't have hit you. It wasn't gentlemanly. Oh. Oh. Uh, whatever. But then she kissed me. Kissed me. I mean, it was, it was just on the cheek, but... And, and also she kind of had this, this thing on her nose, but I didn't care because she, you can tell she can cook. So... <laughs> The Taming of the Shrew. Padua, city of romance and love. Enter Lucentio Antonio. Antonio! I'm so pumped that my rich dad, Vincentio, has sent me to Padua to study virtue and stuff. Word, word. But don't forget to party, yo. Enter Baptista with Grimio and Hortensio, followed by his two hot daughters, Bianca. <laughs> and Kate. with a three-legged stool. <laughs> oh dear, my novel. She's too rough for these old bones. Lucentio sees Bianca. Dude, I think I'm in love. <laughs> Let's go, girls. <laughs> Is any man such a fool as to be married to the devil? Why, there are fellows who take even her with money enough. Tranio, you be me, and I'll pretend to be a teacher for Bianca for some reason. Right on. Enter Patruccio. 
I come to live and thrive! Know any hot chicks, Hortensio? Well, there's Kate the Cursed. I hear she's a real fireball. I will board her, yes! Ha! But will you fool this wild cat? <laughs> Hells yes! Now, let's party! <laughs> Meanwhile, at Baptista's house... Lucentio and Bianca. Guess what? My name's really Lucentio, and my dude Tronio is pretending to be me. I like you. You're cute. <laughs> the wedding day. Petruchio is nowhere to be found. What an ass hat. He never meant to wed where he hath wooed. <laughs> where is my lovely bride? I want to kiss her. <laughs> Looks badass, but uh, we gotta go. <clears throat> if you love me, stay. Nope. Who's <laughs> <laughs> back? Petruchio and Kate leave. He drags her through the countryside, through the muck and mire, to his house. I'm so freaking hungry and tired. Want some food? Oh, too slow. <laughs> How about some new clothes? Not. What about a new hat? Snake. <laughs> I guess I'm being tame. Oh, thank you, sir, for your shitty, shitty gifts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go back to your dad's house. <laughs> oh, damn. The moon is bright tonight. That's the sun. I say it is the moon. Oh, yes. Silly me. It's the moon. You lie. It's the sun. <laughs> Who's this fart knocker? It's me, Vincentio. I'm going to see my son, Lucentio. Huh? <laughs> Mamma mia! Baptista thought I was a big father because of my no good son, Lucentio, and Tranio being a couple of gobbly goose. Now, Lucentio is going to marry the beautiful Bianca. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Holy pepperoni! And now, for the end of the show, here we go! The Wedding Feast of Lucentio and Bianca. <laughs> Let's wager on our wives and see who comes when we call them. Right on. Grumio, go get Bianca. She cannot come. Grumio, get my wife. I got many BT dubs. She will not come. She bid you come to her. She will not come? <laughs> and Grumio, tell Kate I command her to come to me. Yes, sir. She will not come. It's Kate the Shrew. Give me a break. What is your will, sir? <gasps> what the hell? Kate, tell these fools what's what. <laughs> fie, fie. Unknit that threatening, unkind brow. And dart not scornful glances at your lord. So, place your hand below your husband's foot. In duty of which, if he please, my hand is ready, if it do him ease. <laughs> Why, there's a witch! Now, come on, and... <laughs> <laughs> 
Kiss me, Kate! Though you may think that I have been tamed and bow before men as these here have claimed, in trickery know that I am well versed and never forget whom they call Kate the Cursed. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thank you.